Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon, 10 to 4. I want to do a video um, about the process of starting testosterone in surgery because I've had numerous people uh, send me an email asking how I did that. And I commented in one of my, uh, I think my last video, that I remember watching other people talk about testosterone in surgery and me being totally clueless how to go about that. So this is my experience. This is how I did it. Um, it doesn't mean that this is how everyone does it. This is, doesn't mean this is the only way to do it. Um, this is what works for me. This is what works under California law. I don't know if it's different anywhere else. So um, what I did is I searched um, on like Google and different things for gender specialist and found a gender specialist that um, practices in close to the Bay Area, it's in North Bay and in El Cerrito. Um, there was no one that was on that list anyways that practiced in Sacramento or where I live. So El Cerrito was the closest that I can find. Made an appointment with her, started seeing her and doing kind of like normal therapy work, but obviously with a, um, a focus on uh, trans issues and trans identity and so forth. Talked to her about my intention to have surgery and start testosterone. After um, about 10 sessions, she wrote a letter um, stating that she felt as a gender specialist that it was appropriate for me to do cross-hormone therapy. Um, WPATH uh, requires that you would do, I think, 13 sessions, but because I was seeing another therapist in conjunction with hers, um, or in conjunction with her, rather, that she felt like um, it was sufficient. So she wrote that letter. Um, she asked me if she wanted it written to someone specific or not, so she could do it either way. She wrote the letter to Dr. Mosier, which is... Um, um, doctor in San Francisco that works uh, predominantly with trans patients. Um, I called and made an appointment with him. When I made that appointment, the nurse asked if I had seen a therapist, asked if I had a letter. I said yes to both, so she went ahead and scheduled my appointment. When I went in, I took that letter that my therapist had written. I gave him that letter. He read it. And uh, then that took the process out of my therapist's hands and into the doctor's hands. And then the doctor will do whatever doctor you go to will do their own process. And I've done videos about that doctor and how I ended up going with a different one and so forth. But that's how I got to that place in that point. Um, it was very similar with regard to chest surgery. Um, it's almost, for me anyways, it was almost the exact same letter. And instead of cross hormone therapy, it's, I think she worded it as, um, um, sexual reassignment surgery, specifically chest reconstruction surgery, something along those lines. Um, and I had already chosen that I was gonna have Dr. Brownstein, so the letter was addressed to Dr. Brownstein. It said the same thing, that we had gone through the history, um, and that she, as a therapist, a gender specialist, had diagnosed me with um, gender identity disorder, transsexualism, which is like, I don't know, in the DSM-IV, it's like 3.25 or 325 or something like that. Um, and I called Dr. Brownstein, um, made an appointment for pre-surgery consult, went and met with him, took the letter that my therapist wrote. Um, he did an assessment on the kind of surgery and, and that was essentially it. Um, so I was really, I remember being really confused on how to, how to start testosterone. I didn't know how to go about that process. Um, I think that for the most part, WPATH standards specify that in order to do cross gender hormone therapy, that you have to have seen a therapist, like I said, 13 months. And then any medical doctor can prescribe testosterone. There's a risk to going to just a general practitioner who typically doesn't treat trans patients. There's also a benefit to going to those people, like just general, gen just to general practitioners. Um, for me, I had done enough research and I felt like I knew enough about it that I could go to a general practitioner, it'd be fine. Um, also, my general practitioner that I'm going to is local as opposed to having to go to the Bay Area to see Dr. Mosier. So you just kind of have to weigh that out. Um, when I met with the doctor, um, I gave him, the doctor here, I gave him another copy of the letter stating that my therapist had diagnosed me with gender identity disorder, which the only known treatment is cross hormone therapy, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Um, he took that letter. He did some research on his own. He had me sign a informed consent that um, taking testosterone um, would irreversibly change and then list all the things in my body. I signed that. He wrote the prescription. I took the prescription to Costco, 45 minutes, I had a vial of testosterone in my hand. It was that simple. Um, so I hope that answers the questions that I had about it. Someone also asked me what kind of testosterone I'm taking, and I don't remember. 
so I need to put that up somewhere. On Wednesday when I get my third shot, um, I will include the kind of testosterone I'm taking. Um, if you have any other questions, if that wasn't clear enough or you're still confused, please, please, please ask me because I totally remember watching videos and being jealous that people were doing this whole process and wanting to do it but completely clueless and really intimidated to ask because it seemed like I should just know, but I, but I didn't know. Um, all right. Hope Paul's doing well.